stop it. You're too kind. Oh, come on. Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good job on adding adding the uh, the live studio audience in there. I, I like that. That was a good bit. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, we gotta uh, we gotta we gotta feel like it's a real thing here. Like uh, like we can hear. We know the applause is out there. We just need to hear it. Yeah, that's <laughs> you know. <laughs> in, in the time of COVID, you have to. You know, we gotta bring extra people in to support and share the love so and that's mm -hmm. what it is that's what it is we're just showing the love to ourselves wait a minute absolutely so welcome everybody to b movie bonfire this is our first um pantsless episode um and don't forget uh what you can't see can't hurt you so that's good um welcome back that's what I, <laughs> welcome that's back what everybody my wife keeps telling me anyway <laughs> I am Aaron. Uh, with me, we've got uh, the bearded wonder there, Kyle, and Captain Volcano over there, Josh. Uh, all joining you on the stream. So uh, happy to be here. We're looking. This should be a fun one tonight. I'm looking forward to this. This is uh, this is going to be a good one. Uh, yeah. And tonight is uh, your last chance. Make sure that if you haven't followed, make sure you do that, and then make sure you at least say hello in chat tonight because tonight's your last chance to get entered <laughs> for that glorious B movie bonfire T-shirt. <laughs> so your local guru already coming in hot with the uh, zingers there. Um, I'm not sure I want to see you showing the love to yourselves now that I know you're pantless. <laughs> right. Um, this is also, I'm going to call this uh, episode one of season two uh, because we have a store um, available on the website, a swag store that has a poster. And I'm not going to remake that damn thing every time we do a new <laughs> Um, no, nope. <laughs> just save it. Every time just save it for the season. So, save it for the season two box. No, set. but but I mean, it, yeah, exactly. It, it, very important to know this is the first edition, unlimited run poster of season one, and you can also, if you get the poster, you also can buy the box set. Yep. <laughs> season season one box set. Yep. Yes. It's true. Um, and get on making that. That'd be fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm on it. <clears throat> I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if we can do that. What's in the box? <laughs> Not what you think. What's in the box? <laughs> uh, just a T-shirt. That's it. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, and, and pictures of yeah. us doing this. <laughs> I think. I think actually the love is in the box. Oh. All because right. Step one. Bonfire T-shirt. Got a hole in the box. <laughs> Two. Oh, put your wow. shirt in that box. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Um, so tonight we're watching a movie, uh, a film, cinema classic mm -hmm. made in 1956 called The Instruct <laughs> The Instructable Man. You can learn. <sighs> He's a myth. <laughs> yeah. I'll. You know what? Uh, um, the there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, The Indestructible Man, um, yes, correct. 1956, somehow, mm -hmm. I looked it up on Wikipedia, it is a crime, horror, science fiction film. Hmm. So it's just, it's like Prego. I mean, in, in film I, form. I feel a vague sense of horror already. You know, I, he's not, he, you're not alone. You are absolutely yeah. not alone. Yeah, it's All okay. Right. What do you say we go ahead and dive right into this steaming pile? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, and one more thing at the end, at the end of tonight's episode, uh, we're going to do the drawing. Um, so, um, if you have already chatted, uh, in our, in the last two or three streams, then you'll get an entry each time that you, uh, attended the stream and chatted. And then you also, and then you get, uh, that entry counts if you are also a follower. So, um, make sure you click that follow button too. Um, and tonight, whatever you comment, um, and follow tonight, that will be in our drawing for tonight. Uh, if I can get the technical wizardry <laughs> um, working correctly. So just throwing that out there. We're going to actually do the drawing live at the end of tonight's stream. What was that, Kyle? Nothing. I said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's all I got. <laughs> all right. Well, what, let's just go ahead and dive right into this. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, now, I can say that I have not seen this film, so uh, this will be on the fly for me. Uh, yep. I'm not sure about my cohorts. No, nope, same, same here. Kyle, apparently your mic is a bit low compared to the others. I'm sure it's probably that is, is. That, is uh, that is how that is... we designed it. <laughs> <laughs> that is for the benefit of our audience. Uh, oh, you're too kind. <laughs> uh, I will get that adjusted and keep the mic a little better situated in front of my face. Thank you for that. 
So, all right, well, let's get started with the indestructible man. Really? Nothing on that? No, no fake yay or anything? Okay. Yay! <laughs> Lon Chaney, this Lon can't Chaney. be a bad movie. Yeah, nothing's bad with Lon Chaney. Yeah. Robert Folk, not to be confused with Robert Brock. <laughs> Some serious music. It certainly is. Chris is a beaut. Put Lon Chaney's name first to distract from how horrible the rest of it is. Uh huh. Pollock's fan. It's a name you don't see every day. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. I was dictating the wrap up on the Butcher Benton package. Lieutenant Chasen. I'm Lieutenant Dick Chasen. This <laughs> Dick Chasen? Case. Yes, Dick you Chasen. Are. Find the answer uh, Private of Dick. You are. <laughs> Do we need to make yeah, jokes? Day, most cases can be I wonder how all of his tests look. Chasen the day Dick? before the butcher was to be executed, he was visited by his attorney, Paul Lowe, in the death house. It was at this the first death meeting house. the Butcher Benton death case house. took its first switch. Well, that's it, Butcher. The evidence against you was so strong the government turned down your appeal. You're a rotten liar, Lo. You started railroading me from the beginning of the trial. And now you're still trying to throw me curves. Look, I don't blame you for being edgy, but get this straight. I didn't double-cross you. I never worked harder for a client. You mean you never worked harder for a client to get him sentenced? You were a fool, Butcher. If you hadn't tried to double-cross Queen Lee Ellis and Joe Marcelli, they wouldn't have turned state's evidence against you. Yeah, then it would have been you the instructable man. You wanted to keep the whole $600,000 for yourself. Yeah, hey, that's my joke. Boy's got sore <laughs> and I don't blame him. It was all your idea. You planned the whole job. You hired us. When you found out I'd staged the money, you decided it was time for me to die. You got those two crumbs to turn state's evidence on me. You stinking, rotten mouthpiece. We both know that isn't true, Butcher. Now look, what's the you sense? You kissed your mother with that mouth? <laughs> not gonna do you any good. Well, I'll have the satisfaction of knowing that none of you three crumbs are gonna spend it. What about Eva? Don't you owe her something? You tell me where the money is, I'll see that she gets your share. I've got a different idea. I'm gonna kill you and Squeamy and Joe. Then I'll take care of Eva myself. You with my own bare hands. You're gonna die tomorrow. <laughs> Boy, the justice system works quickly. Remember what I said. I'm gonna get you, all three of you. Even for you, Butcher, that'd be quite a trick. So long, dead man. Oh. Remember what I said. I'm gonna kill you, all three of you. You rotten crumbs. <laughs> you dirty rotten crumb. Lucky Lugger. Back in Bring Los Angeles, two men sat in a bar room listening to a newscaster tell his headline story. He played up big the butcher's threat to kill Paul Lowe, Squeamy Ellis, and Joe Marcelli for their having turned state's evidence against him. Squeamy Ellis didn't seem happy over the butcher's threat. Neither did Joe Marcelli. But they had figured, once a dead man, always a dead man. But this was one time everyone was in for a surprise including the entire police department. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. <laughs> oh, man, where am I going to get my steaks? <laughs> <Good one. laughs> you seen the headlines, Captain? Teletype just came in from San Francisco. Butcher's execution is set for 5 o'clock this afternoon. Man. And like the newspapers say, Bankers he still refuses to talk about that stolen money. Well, I still have hopes of coming up with something. That's what I dropped by for, Dick. With the butcher's execution, Dick. the department's marking it case. <laughs> Name's Dick, private that Dick. That means you'll be reassigned. This 
spent a whole year trying to break this case. As far as I'm concerned, Butcher's death is just the beginning. Of course, I, I can't prove it, but I think that Paul Lowe was the top man. And even though I have to keep working on it while off duty, I'm going to get Lowe, Squeamy Ellis, and Joe Marcelli. Okay, Lieutenant. Remember that comment about Baker's hours? Off of the case. Unofficially, I wish you luck. Do me a favor. Keep me posted. Will do. Thanks, John. Hey, I'm baby. For Eva yeah. How you doing? She worked in a local burlesque house. I'm a cop, and my job is to ask questions and get answers. But every so once I in a while. I decided I might as well. So, so like, come around here, Black Thurston. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, this is L.A. in the 50s. He's got a point. Man. Yes, come into I my like dressing room. I like to go into burlesque houses and rough up the talent. What do you want? I'd like to talk to you. I'm oh? Dick Chasen. You're a cop, huh? <laughs> I can't even find a three-ton armored car, let alone the $600,000. I've been on the case a year. Too much you, time chasing you, Dick. I don't know anything about the money. I never did. Benton's gonna be dead in a little while. I thought it might make a difference. I never knew anything about the money. The butcher, the baker, the candlestick all maker? Them. All of them. I didn't even know Charles was in the same their time. rackets until the trial. I'll take it easy, kid. You're on, Eva. Blade Runner scene in the dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> Wait here. I've got to go take my clothes off. And then I'll put my clothes on and come back and see you. Must. Clever. Clever girl. <laughs> that was a dramatic way to show ten minutes. <laughs> Welcome in, Elvin. Wow, that's a long dance. I can't tell I need to see the clock again. <laughs> I'll just follow her without permission. You know there's a rehearsal in the morning because it was sprawled on the wall. ...of the $600,000 stolen in the armored car holdup, paid for his crimes against society in the gas chamber at San Quentin. Now for a look at the international scene. Today... Where will I get my meat? Don't waste tears on Benton. I feel so badly about That's what Josh said. <laughs> if I'd known, maybe I could have done something. How about a drink? We could both use one. An artist can't drink while she's working. Boy, oh, see. Get your meaty paws off me. I'm sorry, I've been with the butcher. <laughs> That's really troubling. Super <laughs> troubling. <laughs> I made Josh feel uncomfortable. <laughs> well, now what's the matter? It's a message from Charles. He told me to open it if he died. Finale, Eva. All right. How about a steak after the show? Well, thanks not to that, Paul. <laughs> I know a butcher. Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get out there and show him what you got, doll. I didn't find out until much later, but Paul Lowe, in opening the letter the butcher had given Eva, found a map outlining a section of the city sewer system, and clearly identified with the spot where the butcher had hidden the stolen payroll. He replaced it's it. It's a with very $50 subtle map. Bill. I guess he figured fifty dollars to gain six hundred thousand was not a bad day's work. Little did he know the treasure was buried in the middle of a pit of baboons at the zoo. And a few hundred miles away in San Francisco, the case... <laughs> well, I'm here at the X. Why are there monkeys shrieking at me? ...hours into one long, hideous nightmare. Dr. Bradshaw, a distinguished biochemist, was making preparations for a final experiment... Tokyo Drift. ...hoped would lead the way to a cure for cancer. Sweet drift, bruh. He'd been successful with laboratory... Animals. Hit the NOS. The last step called for a human body. Dr. Bradshaw's assistant quickly made a deal with a local mortuary and returned to the laboratory with the dead body of Butcher Benton. 
It's amazing how much exposition they can do with narration. <laughs> it's surprisingly easier for them to tell us than to show us. Because <laughs> otherwise this would make time. no sense whatsoever. Any trouble? No, I just handed the money over. Just so you guys know what's station, happening. <laughs> get a syringe. Yeah, get a syringe. If we're out of them, you can just bring a syringe. He's in good shape. Well, I hope so. The rigor Look mortis the hasn't said it. <laughs> we'll get other blood samples later. We'll run this one through fast. All right. He's a trapezoid. <laughs> you look thirsty. Let me get you a vodka. <laughs> Whoops! Ow! <laughs> that looks like iced tea. Just this movie is fun. More drips of syrup. <laughs> <laughs> With the syringe. I'm sorry, Jim. Ah. These guys get all that syrup in them, they get antsy and they're pansy. That's where he gets all of his energy. You're going to give him 287,000. All that sugar. Yes, yes. I'll get the fluoroscope set. We'll check with that before we start dissecting. Turn off the lights. <laughs> I dissect better in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, old boy. Ribs. If you respond properly and my theory is sound, you'll be more famous dead than alive. Throw the switch. With a new fluoroscope, measure how wax your flows are. <laughs> From Ronco. <laughs> More volts. <laughs> Brought to you by General Electric and the Volt Meter. <laughs> by Welka. The Wheelio Volt Meter, apparently. <laughs> That's actually a look outside in his, uh, his electric meter, and it's just... Surely it won't go to 500,000. Oh, thank goodness. That would have caused some damage. <laughs> wait, wait, I, I thought I saw a pulsation of the heart. That's not a heart. He obviously ate a burrito before they killed him. Dr. Bradshaw is beginning to breathe. You've brought this man back to life. No, 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 no. I thought the whole point of an x-ray was that you don't see the muscle tissue, like the heart. <laughs> yes, but it does prove that the cells still function. Dr. Bradshaw. Well, I mean, they did run 250,000 volts through this man's chest. Shock You're just seeing the glow of it. Last. His cells are multiplying now, if your theory is right. Clearly, this is Dr. Terry Bradshaw. That's worth a try. <laughs> Get the body out. Yes, please, get him out of here. He's really starting to stink. All right, I'll set the crock pot to high. Now he's finger looking good. The ribs fall off the bone. Get some adrenaline from the spiral. Off. I know nightlight, too. <laughs> hurry, hurry. Sorry, it took me a minute to process that. <laughs> Loading. Hulk angry. Uh oh. Lon Chaney's gonna have to slap someone. It slaps giving, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, why do I have a catheter? Loot Viper, so hard to wake up in the morning when you've been dead. Oh, why did Once you give you me so much vodka? Your heart can't stand the strain. <laughs> now you must lie still. Please, please. Easy. Yeah, baby. Easy. Easy. Oh. You must lie. Easy. Please. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh no. smash. <laughs> I think he's getting angry. Oh, God. I feel like I've been asleep for hours, busted for a piss. Bradshaw's experiment had given life back to the butcher. I haven't pooped in three days. Electrical voltage had burned out his vocal cords. You guys made it all squishy. He destroyed his brain. <laughs> he knew who he was. He knew who he hated. The guy in the glasses went on to star in McHale's Navy. The room, I think he thought only about one. 
kill the doctor is smart enough to play dead when someone shoves him against the Tremendous wall. Tremendous electrical <laughs> voltage that Dr. Bradshaw had given the butcher had increased his cellular structure uh, to the point where he is it gone? <laughs> okay, great. Whew, man, Dr. Dr. Bradshaw's he might really hurt experiment me. had created a vicious, brutal animal with an almost inconceivable amount of strength. Dr. Bradshaw must have almost inconceivable. So would last <laughs> conceivable. For only a few minutes. <laughs> Therefore, instead of calling for help, the doctor decided to handle his creation alone. Now, easy, Batten. Just relax. I I'm a doctor. I want to try to help you. Do you understand? Damn it, Jimmy. <laughs> You're in my laboratory. I'm a doctor, not Frankenstein. Was carried Wait, out, you would can I grab that. your boobs like this? I tried an experiment. It's okay. You so feel like a, a sink up on the left. And you've had a great shock now. Now come and sit down. Now, now, be quiet now. Come and sit down. Take come a on. Seat. No, it's fine. The Let's have a nice cup of tea. Careful. His reactions are violent. How do you explain this? Each cell must have multiplied a hundred times. Perhaps thousands. His strength is unbelievable. No, no, I know, each because he lightly shoved right me against side. the wall. I, I mean... Want to get some blood samples. I'm Make not a. Find out what's a that's, that's you know, I'm cancer. not a. I'm not a master <laughs> in physics, but, but I'm just. Yeah, exactly. He is not three times the mass that he was before, which I'm. I'm fairly certain that's how it would work. Oh God, no, 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 no! You did not sanitize the area first. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Huh. Oh my God, he must be. Invincible tissue must be indestructible, mass maybe. Of cells. <laughs> How are we going to get the blood sample? No, <laughs> surgically, perhaps. He doesn't like that idea. Now, easy, <laughs> take it easy. You can't leave here now. I'm responsible for your being alive, <laughs> and I'm responsible for you being dead. <laughs> <laughs> you just got not changed. Junior? Better than getting shot in the face, I guess. Yeah, wipe off my palms. Got a little sweaty there. Hashtag Cheney jokes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Well, I guess I'll head down to the pub. <laughs> now, where's that bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> ah, there it is. It's over here. <laughs> Just uh, pee into one of these bottles then? Yeah, just go anywhere. That's fine. I like to save my urine for later in these uh, jugs. See, this was the... Uh, <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> this was back in May, May 15th. And it's a particularly Captain nice Water vintage. I the doctor and his assistant had been murdered. But I'm ah, what a wonderful bouquet. <laughs> the butcher didn't know... You are traveling through another dimension. A dimension not yeah. only of sight and sound. All he knew... <laughs> But of bad jokes and terrible movies. <laughs> we need to advance the plot, and we don't have any money, so we're going to tell you exactly what happens next. What they did for that close-up shot was they just had him do a line of blow, and they were just like, stare intensely. <laughs> On Walk that into very the night, night Carol Ann. Los Angeles, I decided to stop playing detective for a little while. I went to the burlesque house to ask Eva to have dinner with me. After all, the butcher was dead, and if I got lucky, sooner or later, I figured Paul Lowe would lead me to the stolen payroll. And then or I gave you a smile at every woman I saw. Me even feel better. Creepy smile. Creepy smile for you. It's not fair to watch the show from backstage. Next time, I'll pay admission. I take it by that remark, you like my routine. Yeah, you're pretty good. What I can't figure I out got a half job. is why you stay in a place like this. <laughs> it shouldn't be hard for someone like you to get a job in a class spot. If you were a detective, I'd be willing to bet with a line like that. Your next remark would be, how about dinner? Well, not exactly dinner, but a hamburger might be a good idea. If you're asking or some clams. <laughs> I can't say no. I'm off duty. For the past six I months, the all I've ever called you is Lieutenant Chasen. Do you have a first name? Uh -huh. Dick. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Give me ten minutes for a quick change because you just made yourself a date, Lieutenant. I mean, Dick. <laughs> Dick. 
It writes itself. You know <laughs> I haven't had hamburger in the front seat of an automobile with a guy in a lot of years. Well, from now on, we'll do it more Usually, often. I, oh. <laughs> Usually, it's in the back seat. I always figured a and policeman a hot dog. wasn't really a human being. <laughs> I mean, unless he was arresting someone and trying to solve what? a case, he was unhappy. It shows you how wrong you are. In fact, everyone on the force gets fed up occasionally with the job they do. Maybe we just have to blow off some steam by just, beating up a gypsy so or a vagrant. Get to hate the world. <laughs> but as long as the world's filled with people, there'll have to be men who enforce the laws. Men like what me, you white, no, upper middle class men, the questions. named no, Dick, honest, I, you know, like regular you. old dicks. <laughs> Always making with the questions, you lippy woman. When I got out of the Air Corps, I knocked around for a while. I, um, I went to work sorry, for an oil company. No, no, you heard that right. And one day, I went back to college on the GI Bill. Just before graduation, I Wait a minute. noticed all about this. This is an advertisement for exams. army recruitment, isn't it? I went to college on the GI Bill. So I took the exams, <laughs> passed, then went on from there. Should Dick Chaser be enforcing anything? <laughs> Am I still part of the Charles Benton investigation? I mean, right now. I don't think so. As far as the department's concerned, when Benton was executed, the case was marked closed. But inside of me, that's not good enough. I, inside I of me? Is that what he said? <laughs> yes, he did. thousand dollars is still missing. What can you say about it? This <laughs> underworld lawyer like Paul Lowe is walking around a free man. I like to think about how Someday, things feel on the inside no of me. how long it takes, I'll get him and the money. Until I do, the Benton case for me is not closed. You should word. see my Benson. backlog. Charles Benton never told me anything about the money. Oh, I've been sure of that for a long time. But how did you ever get mixed up with anyone like the butcher? He paid trouble well. Trouble ever start? It just happened. I had a roommate who used to date Benton all the time. He was One the day baker. She packed and left for Chicago. Benton carried a torch for her, and he used my shoulder to cry on. First thing I knew, we were having dinner together, and. A carried a later, torch for her. Where were they I going was on dates? By the police as this number one Dark suspect and, and Benton's girl. <laughs> but, but it was never like that. I made only one mistake. I felt sorry for him. The torch was from the candlestick man. Nice. Until he was arrested for the robbery and killing, you have no idea how he earned a living. I know this is going to sound crazy, but I only went out with Benton a couple of times. And all we ever talked about was Madge, my old roommate. The last time I saw him, he because tried to get nothing too friendly and helps you get with a girl better than talking about girl. her roommate. But like I said, I'd already made my mistake. What about the burlesque house? How do you <laughs> <keep it together? laughs> the sheriff from Manos is going to come along like and rouse these two in a second now. <laughs> I left a small town a couple of years ago because I won a beauty. Maybe you two ought to get out of that car. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> stop that! <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Rough. And then one day I read an ad about whatever you're going to not do, go do it somewhere else. I auditioned and I got the job. <laughs> you know something? It's like any other job. If you're looking for trouble, you, you can find it even in a schoolroom. Yeah, well, it's school usually Jimmy carving his initials in the desk. Why didn't you go? Oh, damn it, Jimmy. Well, first, you have to have a home to go back. That to. tiny pencil. Job said that job posting said they needed a hand, so I thought I'd go give him a hand job. I don't know about you, but I hate shows. No, wouldn't that mean that they gave him the hand job? I know what you mean. I know what you mean. No. And I'll tell you something else. I haven't minded anything about tonight. Not even the hamburger. I kept playing tag with Lowe. She is a progressive woman. I haven't one minded Joe anything myself. about this evening. I watched Joe even the hamburger. With Lowe, and for some unknown reason, I began to get the feeling that this case Anybody else hearing the Frogger music in their head? <laughs> Judy, you're cut off. Well, look at that, William. I see him saddle two legs. But he's on four. Is that fox on her shoulder barking? I 
with any future business you've got with this psycho, take care of it upstairs in your office. You keep showing around here, sooner or later he's going to get slugged, crippled or no crippled. All right, All right shut up, up Tim. Sit down. <laughs> Why, well, you rotten crumb? <laughs> Act your age, woman. Somebody <laughs> smell mothballs? God, why does it smell like mothballs and Bud Light in here? Because act your age, you woman. You sober enough to understand? Yeah. If you had self-reliance, this wouldn't be a problem. Look, you used to be the best torch man in town. Thank you, Principal oh, Disney. Crack a safe if you knew the combination. No jobs. Nobody wants me since I turned stakes on Benton. That's your doing. You taught me. All right, quit crying. I got a job for you. If you can stay off that stuff long enough. You know I can if I've got a job. How much? What is it? It's too grand in it for you. Where? Right near where he pulled the job. Interested? Two grand ain't much out of 600,000. There'll be other expenses. Besides, that money's plenty of money. Now, you want it or do I get it? Is that a bottle of old swaggity? <laughs> Wait, look at it. Next time it comes on screen, I think it said old swaggity. Swiggy do swiggy do swiggy do swaggy do whack. That's all the jobs of. Ah, not young swaggity. I splurged on the old swaggity. It's aged an extra three days. God, I could, I would kill for some old swaggity right now. Still haven't found that bathroom. Just needs a swig of that syrup. <laughs> the butcher was walking slowly toward Los Angeles. A little bit of that old swaggity. <laughs> it was as hard for you to type as it was for that guy to pronounce. Finally, he came to a quiet road. The indestructible man finally bearings. wanders back into the movie about the indestructible and then he man. Saw her. <laughs> and saw something else. An automobile. That's more of a dance move for than the a hitchhiker. That rang a bell. With it's a called car. The Hitchhiker. He knew by the next afternoon he'd be in Los Angeles in plenty of time to catch up with the three men who had done Oh, where was, that, where was that comment about him vibrating his eyes in a sinister <laughs> fashion? <laughs> Loot Viper. Solid joke. Well, see, you're a real gentleman to be helping strangers in distress. I hope you don't mind me using the babe here as bait. Quite a dish, isn't she? But that's what she gets paid for. Bait, that is. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. She's a real Jail, bait. carnival man myself. Just call me Connie. Yeah. <clears throat> well, friend, we're in a little bit of difficulty here. Got a flat tire, brand new car, no tools in the back. Why, some of these dealers make my carnival grifters look like babes in the world. Headlights world. are working, though. <laughs> Move. <laughs> Sorry, I, I had no choice. Hulk tune. <laughs> Hulk diagnose and then repair. Uh. Hulk say, make sure you tighten in crisscross fashion. Kill. Holy. <laughs> say, who you wish, Frank? Let it down. Let it down. I killed the last man who wore a bow tie at me. <laughs> <laughs> no matter who you're with, friend, believe me, I can do better for both of us. I'll make a fortune for the both of us. Uh oh. Oh, that well, didn't go he's, well. He's oh, dead. That is unfortunate. He lightly touched him on the back. Oh, wait a minute. I can't drive stick. <laughs> you need Dick Chaser. He can drive any stick. <laughs> an hour later, the San Francisco Police Department sent out an APB. Look for Lon Chaney. <laughs> Squads were sent to various parts of the countryside. You notice how those cars are way less threatening than current police cars? <laughs> this car looks like it belongs in a cartoon. Like the Ghostbusters. Yeah. You guys, I, a house a block over from me, they had the actual Ecto-1 car in their driveway. They bought it at auction. Oh, oh sweet. Awesome. Roadblocks were thrown up to catch the cold-blooded killer the hysterical girl had described. Cold each blood squad killer. kept reporting back to central headquarters, and each of their stories was the same. So far, none of them had spotted the car the killer was driving 
order. A journey yeah, into a, a wondrous land of imagination. Because from the girls' further <laughs> accounts, they realized they were dealing with a maniac. And not just a regular maniac, an indestructible one. Miss me! Oh, that's a Brutal. signature wrestling move. Ah. The indestructible chop. Judo chop. Judo chop. Another. Damn, he chopped three times. And the car that flew through the air. Oh. Could have made a fortune for both of them, or enough to buy more bow ties. <laughs> Doesn't live far from Merced. Then a large wolf jumps out in front of the car. And he makes a coat out of it. The indestructible man is cold. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. Joke old yet? <laughs> I trust that this information will answer all of your questions. If I can be of any further service, let me know. Sincerely, J. L. Louder, Captain Police, L.A. Another all point from CHP, Captain. You down with CHP? You know me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These reports sound like they come from a bunch of loonies. You sure do. We should there put Dick Chasen on the case. Yeah. I want Lieutenant Chasen to look these over as soon as he comes in. <laughs> right, <sir>. Nailed it! Nailed <laughs> it! <laughs> the next morning, I read the stories of the brutal murder of the two police officers. I also read the witness's statement about the bullets having no effect upon the killer. Did you try fire? I felt sorry for the witness. Yeah. I thought about how easily a person's mind can yeah, become confused and suddenly they receive a brutal shock. I didn't believe a man existed who could not be stopped by a slug from a 45. Uh, Good morning, Captain. Looks like I'll have to try the fuel. You and the rest of the force are going on 24 hour duty. Seeing the headlines? I mean, this guy that's running a mock up north? A mock? In the latest report, he's killed two police officers. <laughs> Yeah, he must be doing drugs with the syringe. Killer is going to be our baby. Could be in town right now. Yeah. Better get started. Captain, I would prefer you not refer to the killer as baby. Any new leads on that hold of money? I think the girl can probably be counted out. If any of the others are wise, they're keeping mighty quiet. Let it ride for now. The whole force is going to be on the spot until we I'm catch this I'm fairly killer. certain the stripper is not the one killing Who's people indiscriminately. Field day. <laughs> Entertainer. But I'm pretty sure the strip club is the key. Hey there, Dick. Oh, wait. We were wrong about two things. The killer was already That's in our city. Mr. Chasen to you. He was Butcher Benton. He headed straight for Eva Martin. We didn't know it was Butcher Benton, back the even though it was Butcher Benton's body and face. He wanted first to check his money, then catch up with Lowe and the others. Check his money? <laughs> Call me Butcher. <laughs> Can't be. Oh, she's gonna get the smash. Here it comes. Yeah, <laughs> oh, Bion smash. the, the bi bionic bitch slap. Here it comes. <laughs> You've got TB? It is you. Why didn't somebody tell me? What's happened, Charles? Those look like bullet holes. Bullet, bulletproof fast. Or they could be moth holes. There's not even a moth. More is that? You've got 17 nipples. I just counted them. Look, I can place these on my hand and nothing happens. Frau Butcher. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
Yes, they did explain why he can't talk. The process burned out his vocals. Yes. Uh, did great things for his heart and lungs, but not good for the trachea. <laughs> Paul didn't know why he was here. Uh oh, he's doing the vibrating eye thing. Duh. Wait a minute. Am I double parked? <laughs> don't, don't, don't play crazy. No. Long smash. The name of Paul triggered his hate. <laughs> He left her dressing room and started for Squeamy Ellis and Joe Marcelli's place. Because he knew with them out of the way, Paul Lowe couldn't open the strong box where the money was hidden. He thought of Squeamy and Joe first. <laughs> he was saving Paul Lowe for last. You know, Remember when I said I'd kill you last? No one would name a kid Squeamy, and no one would self-apply that name. So I'm really curious. How I want to know the backstory. Like, was there ever a sequel to this that kind of told the, or a prequel that told the coming up of Squeamy? Uh, I think they did, and it involved a lot of old swaggity. Ah. Uh, it's actually called the coming up of Squeamy. <laughs> Sponsored by old swaggity. <laughs> Remember, old swaggity for when you need quality biz. After I've run outside, I'm going to go ahead and close my rope now. Got a squeamy in your crib? Have old swaggity. <laughs> Good lord. Where'd I put that extra quarter? Oh, here it is. I put it in my garter. Hey, Eva, can I borrow your eyebrow pencil? Not used to talking with things in her mouth. Headquarters. Oh, 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 oh. Can I chase him, please? I need Dick to speak chasing. I need to speak to Dick. Tell him Charles Benton is alive. And and even bullets can't stop him. I'm not crazy. Hello? Just Hello. Be a friend of Charles, he'll know. He only has one friend. Poor bastard. Oh man. After leaving a message for me, even oh, telephoned to Amy Ellis. She tried to tell him the butcher was alive. Look, man, I just hit this hookah. To I'm gonna need a minute. Squeamy didn't believe her, and in a way you couldn't blame him. <laughs> Who in their right mind would believe a man had returned from the dead? What Squeamy actually believed was that the butcher, before his execution... I'm not sure I care what anyone named friend. Squeamy believes. <laughs> Who put the mattresses on the wall? <laughs> okay, thanks, TMZ. <laughs> <laughs> it's Lon Chaney. They need to use silver bullets. <laughs> you sick? What? You don't look so good to me. Oh, I got the... All right. Save us. <laughs> I could take the over clapper? that trick for you. <laughs> what? Don't eat the clams. <laughs> the on They've expired. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll take over for you, baby. Francine, I just thought of something. Yeah? Eva agreed to let Francine do the show. She you want to change clothes with me? to interrupt the butcher before he arrived at Squeamy's hotel. <laughs> or, failing that, at least be able to warn him to stay out of sight. You want to meet, Captain? Yeah, I just had a rundown on those fingerprints that stolen. I wonder why they chose to have yeah, those characters take place in the last show. I can't think of any reason in terms of plot. Nope. This movie is brought to you by trousers. They go all the way to your Something nipples. Funny about these. <laughs> yeah. The boys in the lab can't figure it out. The trousers are definitely a theme. Those are the killers. They were found on the steering wheel. Looked like they'd been stamped in with a steel die. They sure do. These are Butcher Benton's. What? Well, they look the same to me. What? How awesome. Do the boys explain I'd that? kill for a good no. steak right now. Their best guess is a twin brother. An identical <laughs> twin could have the same pattern of whorls with only slight variations. That's not how science works. Dude, I got 50 right now on the, the uh, identical twin being the baker Even or the candlestick maker. Could be, tr could be triplets. Yeah, could be triplets. <gasps> oh, the plot thickens. Some wacky dame calls you. 
And she Wacky says, dang. Wacky dang. Then bullets won't stop him. If we buy the twin theory, who was she? Where'd she seem? Captain well, Louder. What? Name. Captain Louder. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Louder. <laughs> We need to find him. <laughs> Where's he going? Oh, that's just Dick Jason. Meanwhile, the butcher headed for Squeamy's hotel. He didn't seem to be in any particular hurry. Actually, he seemed like any normal person. On his way to work. Look, I don't want to run. Home. I'm sitting on a brick here, and if I run, it's just going to come out. <laughs> Rice a Roni. Arrived at the top, scanned the hotel building, and then noticed the only exit from Squeamy's apartment a fire escape. <laughs> I'll show that fire escape not to mock me. <laughs> Watch in suspense as the indestructible man commutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> oh, God, another shot of old swaggy there. Shot, 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 shot. I do have that on the soundboard. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> There's only you one know way how in or hard out of Squeamy's apartment. The hangover. There's only one way in or out of Squeamy's apartment. That was the fire escape. So I went around back. Damn it, he took the fire escape. Oh, fire escape's my one weakness. <laughs> hey, who's this again? This is the exotic dancer that uh, Dick felt. Oh, about. I didn't recognize her without the sequins. <laughs> I want to know how they glued him on. Why does the indestructible man look like he went shoplifting at the thrift store? <laughs> <laughs> because he probably went shoplifting at the thrift store. Empty crutches. Bum knee. Watch out for crocodiles. <laughs> Oh, we're almost at the top of the first hill. All right, everybody, put your hands in the Whee! air. Get ready. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, dive off. LA Tower. LA Tower. <laughs> <laughs> For all of your towel washing needs. I'm pretty sure LA never had trolleys. Did they? In this movie, LA is played by San Francisco. <laughs> yeah, that could be. Ah, <laughs> Lon <Lunch> Smash! <laughs> fast on crutches, fast on crutches, fast on crutches. <laughs> oh, oh, didn't count on that, did you? What? Oh, oh no! <laughs> Long throw. <laughs> All right, Lon, that's enough. Oh, I'll run sweet the other. Jesus! The it's a dead body. His next step, and as he looked at the dead cop, he thought about Paul Lowe, the next man on his list. So much for the chubby blue line. Hey, how are you doing, sweetie? I like your suit. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, I'll clean that up for you. Here, let me buy hey, ask an old flaggity. <laughs> Look, I need help. I just found out that Benton's hired a code to get me. He's after Joe, too. Then well, then drink up and get out. I don't want no trouble around my place. You're a real pal. 
Drink up and get out, I said. No tip. Oh, well, fine. I'll tip. Just the tip. Oh. <laughs> Just to see how it feels. Gotta go to that dentist appointment still. Got this horrible case of lockjaw. <laughs> Film. Uh, okay. Strangely enough, IMDb says his mo film was was mostly filmed in Los Angeles, some in Burbank, and some in San Quentin. Huh. Huh. So what you're saying is this movie got around. Thanks, Gordon. It's has. a whore. God, this door only opens. Hello, it's Eddie. Hey, guitar artisan. Nice place to film Blade Runner. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I was looking for Nick Lowe. <laughs> Wait, this isn't Rob Lowe's dressing room? Damn it. <laughs> He's the high man on my list. It's ironic. <laughs> Better open that door. Yeah, Don't anybody know that was me. Bunch of cellos in there. <laughs> <laughs> God, why do okay. I keep hearing cellos? <laughs> yeah, you know, there's always room for cello. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> they keep coming. <laughs> <laughs> Must like Dick Chasen. Dick Chasen, always coming. <laughs> Let's do this when I open and close the door. <laughs> <laughs> Long, what we need you to do for this movie is we need you to just stand out on the balcony and look menacing. Can you like vibrate your eyes? Boy, can I? Oh no. Going down. No, Lon, don't really kill him. Don't really kill him, Lon. <laughs> no, just think. Oh, Jesus. Wilhelm. I don't have it. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's right. She had it. Look at the got... pretty art splatter I made. <laughs> you just got chained. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't see him land, though, so he's probably still alive. Oh, yeah. It's like an old NES game. If you don't see it on screen, it didn't happen. <laughs> sorry, Lon. Your princess is in another castle. <laughs> Narrator's you know what? voice. We went to another castle. <laughs> there was no princess there. He's deader than a mackerel. Customer of mine. But we did another than a mackerel. <laughs> that's a thing, right? People say that. <laughs> no one else was killed? Well, just some rotten crumbs. <laughs> they still haven't made it there yet. Those cars were horribly slow. I tell you, the bullets never even phased him. He must have been wearing a bulletproof vest. God, this is this. what year? 56. 56. We're going to stake out on Joe Marcelli. I'd like to talk to Joe. Lauder, I'm going to call San Quentin. Suppose Benton is uh, Can you turn the movie up at all? Available man's been put on the case now. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, we are at max. All right. Anything new? Report on Dr. Bradshaw, owner of the station wagon. I think they just the ran out of budget, so they were gradually tapering the down the amount of audio. Bradshaw, what's he He's dead. And another man, too. His assistant. Hey, volume is expensive. Is shambles. But now we're getting some action from San Francisco. Benton's yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. <laughs> the mortuary where it was supposed to go. And Dick Chasen bringing the action. Down, admitted he picked up some quick cash by handing the body over to a man he was unable to identify. Magnetic man tape don't grow on trees. Station wagon. <laughs> Blast it, man. The chief's on my neck. The commissioners are on his and the mayor's on theirs. Blast it, man. <laughs> tell them that our killer is a dead man. They found Captain Louder. Bradshaw's lab. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Louder. <laughs> I hope to hear from Wiggins soon. Captain, 
report from the valley on a hysterical woman reports the presence of the killer. There's the location. Let's go. Well into the night, they're still trying to get through L.A. traffic. Who you gonna call? Ghostbusters! <laughs> You noticed that he walked down toward the sump area in the direction where you've seen. You're only supposed to eat hamburgers in the front seat. You know that. What happened then, Miss? Please. Yes, I know. Hot dogs in the back. I just sat there a few minutes. I guess I was pretty mad. Then there was a loud crash. Calling her hysterical when she's reporting that a killer is. Is I there something the little jerky there, officer? I heard Jimmy cry out something. I couldn't make out the words. I heard I Jimmy cry out in the night. <laughs> with Jimmy. A man would have just died without any hysterics. Coming toward him was, was this man. Big man. Lifted Almost Jimmy indestructible. Head, Looked like, surprisingly like Lon Chaney. I... <laughs> swooned. Jimmy screamed. Just Is this like a Mad Libs? <laughs> Verb. Adjective. <laughs> Proper noun. I started running till I found this house. Gerund. Let me use the phone. <laughs> I don't know what a gerund is. Stop it. <laughs> Dude, that's just so disturbing. <laughs> It's, 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 What's it to you? I asked you, where's Eva? Hey, don't get physical. No, I hope this is public Let's domain. Physical. <laughs> physical. I, I want to get demonetized. I know, you guys, you got to stop it. I'm going to have so many copyright strikes. <laughs> yes, sir. No, sir. I want to get demonetized. The killer dropped out of sight. He was last seen in the Hollywood area. Yes, sir. Captain, well, that ought, to, that ought to narrow it down. Every yes, angle. Sir, I, I'll tell him. I'm not being obtuse. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That's cute. <laughs> I think yes. I got them all. <laughs> <laughs> Did she just take the heel of her shoe off? Yeah, see how these fit. Low heels. I'm sorry. It's the best our wardrobe department could afford. <laughs> I'm used we to wearing only glass slippers. Any idea how soon the captain will be back? Now, look, we took I'm going to see the captain. I've had to wait here all night. Oh. Who? Captain Louder? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I didn't hear you. Speak up. <laughs> say it again. Louder. Who? Louder. <laughs> Louder. <laughs> Who do you want to see? Captain Louder! My guess is whoever killed them is on the trail of the money. Now maybe you better start talking if you know anything about it. I don't know anything. Did the butcher have a brother? No, no. I'm sorry, don't, that was probably, that was probably terrible me, on audio. Don't get me started on Butcher's brother. <laughs> the candlestick maker, he is a real I asshole. Police protection. Where's the money, Lowe? You heard me, I demand protection. I know my rights. We put state. Ooh, he blew smoke in his face. I know what that means. Well, that's not enough. He's a dick. It's enough as far as we're concerned. <laughs> Louder? <laughs> what? <laughs> He's a dick! <laughs> Louder? <laughs> and throw away the key. Oh. <laughs> Get out of here, dick. Jason. <laughs> What's your vector, Victor? Roger, Roger. <laughs> over, under, under, done. <laughs> oh, what? my, what's this? Oh, lovely. Yes. What? Might, is... might need to do a little searching here. Yeah, well, uh, there we go. Oh, I think we got it. Part, part two. This is how you know we were watching the original film here. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think we're going to miss any plot. <laughs> 
Thank you. Have you noticed magically how the ties got super yet? narrow again well, after like only four every years? Hotel, motel, and rooming house in town. We run across hotel, on every motel, hotel, rooming house, bank, bordello. They, could, blank. they go down to their nipple this pants, though, at least. Yes. They do. We not only yeah. discover a dead man turned killer, but it's beginning to look like he plays ghost, too. He's somewhere in this city, and if we have to take Patrick's it apart racy. brick by brick, we've got to get him. I may be way off, but I think Paul Lowe could tell us a lot. Maybe. It's a cinch he's not going to. Well, suppose he had no alternative. We've got his balls. Why does he say what's so weird, man? Yeah. No, now wait a minute. Alternative. <laughs> when Lowe came to us for police protection, it was because he was scared he's, stiff the butcher would have like a the Scottish list man the being Ellis forced to do an American accent. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, yeah I right. figures too. When he slugged the sergeant, he knew we'd book him right away. <laughs> also a pirate, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> a character, we can play the same game. You mean we'll threaten to release him? Well, not exactly. Yeah, He'd be guys, walking the uh, Dick, Dick Stason apparently <laughs> got promoted to captain. Incidental. Tell him we're Louder? not going to make a charge, that he's completely released. <laughs> what? Lieutenant, you know we can't do that. Lowell made his first mistake when he hit the sergeant, and that'll get him a year. As far as the department's concerned, at least it's a small victory. If my hunch is right, Lowe won't want to be on the streets with the butcher looking for him. And he may talk and talk a lot. Enough maybe for us to get rid of him permanently. Even lead mm -hmm. us to the butcher. If he's frightened enough, that might work. But if it doesn't... No, Dick, I'm not going to release him. I want him out of my way so bad I can taste it, but not bad enough to be responsible for getting him killed. <laughs> the good thing about that, Captain, is the That's good police that work right there. But Lowe doesn't. I can taste it, Let's give Dick. it a try. <laughs> All right, Lowe. Come on up. Lowe, Dick, Chasen, Captain. Louder. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're free to go, Mr. Lowell. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who do you think you're kidding? You arrested me for assaulting an officer. Court, I'll plead guilty. With luck, I might get off with six months. For a lawyer, you're forgetting a very important point. If no charge is made, there's no trial. It was a tough day for everyone. We figured your nerves were on edge, and when you threw the punch, you didn't know what you were doing. I've squared everything with the sergeant. It's all over. All forgotten. Yeah? Why'd you bring a stenographer? Simply because I wanted a record of our conversation at the time of your release. Okay, Lowell, let's go. Oh, wait a minute. What's that on those streets and I'm a dead man? If you let me go, you'll be responsible for murder. Oh, come off it, Lowell. You're imagining things. You know the butcher's Yarr. trying to kill me. If you set me free, he'll do it. Well, that's just a risk we'll have to take. But the way I look at it, Mr. Lowell, you'll be okay. Look, Captain, I'll make a deal with you. You keep me here, and I'll tell you how to recover the money. Maybe even catch the butcher. No deals, Lowell. You'd probably tell us anything just to stall for time. Come on, let's get out of here. Now, wait a minute. All right. I'll tell you the truth. Start taking this down. I <laughs> now I know where Sergeant Joe Friday got his shtick from. Hired Butcher Benton, Squeamy Ellis, and Joe Maselli to pull off the armored car holdup. That's when he they told did. us that he hired then him to Lowe pull the car Then Lowe continued off. with his confession. He told they, us about finding the They did what the to the armored car He showed us the exact location of where the butcher had hidden the stolen payroll. Isn't that the same place he showed the guy downstairs? I remember what that answer. What happens to that the map they had earlier? What happens to that map they had earlier? His means of escape was he the eluded sewer detection by city. the sewers. Down there, he yeah. met a large rat, four turtles. <laughs> <laughs> the department went to work fast. Every police squad in the city was detailed to cover a specific area. Every entrance and exit to the Los Angeles city sewer system, that was the 700 exit. miles, was covered. <laughs> Captain Lauder and I, along with several other squads, headed Who? to the entrance where, according to the map, <laughs> Butcher had hidden the money. Louder! Our job was to stop him, and that made me think of one specific question. When we found him, could this monster be stopped? I, for one, wasn't sure. What was the point? Shooting. God, I'm gonna have to grease myself to get in here. Someone posted by every toilet in town. Everything all set, 
Lieutenant. City engineers mapped out each possible God, exit. Dick, turn off the station. You know I hate this song. Every point. If the butcher can be caught, now's the time. He's vibrating well, again. After I talked to Caltech, I call on the fire department for a little help. He's focusing. <laughs> Exterminate! Exterminate! <laughs> Kill the louder! <laughs> Have you thought about what will happen if this doesn't work? Kill the louder! <laughs> I've been praying too hard that it will work. God, is that a sawed-off shotgun? Hey, they're bringing fire! Wow! <laughs> the nine and a half floor. That's how we save on overhead. Let's see, we've got a 38 special, <laughs> we've got a flamethrower, we've got shotguns. Was that a bazooka? Who's got the tactical nuke? Thank God, God there was no shit down here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God there was no other crime in Los Angeles. Hey, Bob, it smells like your wife's breath. <laughs> that, that is a rocket launcher. Bring the RPG. And louder. What? Oop. <laughs> oh, 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 God, it's oh, on my hands. This is where they keep the Los Angeles Symphony. <laughs> Whoa. Cut him deep, man. Cut him deep. No, oh, I slipped in it. Smells like grandma's house. <laughs> I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> it smells like mothballs and old swaggity. Brought to you by mothballs and old swaggity. Together at last. The Phantom hey, of look, the guys. Sewer Opera. The Rams are playing. <laughs> Yes, make sure you keep those guns pointed at everybody's backs. Outstanding. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, no, wait. That's just my moon. This is where we split up. I'll go straight ahead. <laughs> yeah, send all the heavy weapons the other way. Make sure you keep the flamethrower guy in the back. <laughs> <laughs> You know what happens if he lights that flamethrower down there? Oh my god, that much of a thing? <laughs> I'm surprised they're still upright. Oh god. Uh, it smells like Kyle's hopes and dreams. Aww. Poor Kyle. <laughs> Never be afraid to be the butt of the joke. Come on. The butt of the joke. Anybody? Really? Nope. Nope. Well, I don't see anything with this puny flashlight. Is that a giant pistol? What's the cop have in his right hand? This map's right. We're off our course. <laughs> well, it's we'll Dick Chasen, time. so... Oh, true. What? What? What is that? There's it's a, a cucumber? It's a sawed-off cucumber. <laughs> this, this gun shoots through schools. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> this comment right here, officer. Oh man. Damn school lunch. I think the butcher's got quite an aroma to him at this point. Uh. What what is this thing? He found it's already it open, dude. Quit struggling with it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all you gotta do is reach in now. <laughs> Where's the light supposed to be coming from? Is God watching them all? <laughs> God, are you watching? Yes, Margaret, I am. What is that? He's got, a, like, a grenade launcher? That's an RPG. <laughs> ah, damn it, Jim, you had it backwards again. God, that hurt like hell. Ah. Holy crap, heartburn. 
<laughs> Hulkfield heartburn. Lon Chaney need Tums. <laughs> Oh, fire hot! Oh god, yes. can you imagine? Can you imagine what hot Lon Chaney smells like? <laughs> Sorry, he smelled like. I think he smelled like regular Lon Chaney. Mm -hmm. God, it smells like ass and crispy Lon Chaney down here. <laughs> God, I gotta go for air. I hate to see you leave, but I love to watch you crawl <laughs> up a ladder. <laughs> the wow, for being so, indestructible, he looks pretty messed up. <laughs> no oh hesitation God, if on I can firing get the heavy two hundred fifty thousand volts into me. <sighs> he might be a twin brother, but sure, hit him with the bu the bunker busters. <laughs> At least his clothes are indestructible too. Yeah, because nobody wants to see little Lon Chaney. Nobody wants to see a Lon Chaney Jr. <laughs> uh, if I could just stick my dick in a generator for like five minutes, that'd be great. <laughs> Instructions unclear. <laughs> got, got dick caught in electricity. <laughs> I rate that too. Oh, he got shit on his face. <laughs> oh, God, Dick, you, God, Dick, you smell terrible. <laughs> Operated heavy equipment. This lesson in heavy machinery brought to you by Old Swaggy. <laughs> <laughs> he got shit faced in the sewer. <laughs> That's good guitarism. Lon Chaney not certified on heavy machinery. The not quite indestructible man. There's an unspoken asterisk, you guys. In everything. Yes. <laughs> Lon. Cheney. And his captain. Louder? His captain. His captain. <laughs> Louder? His captain. Oh. It's very dramatic. They're all like, yo, what's this thing do? <laughs> and in this shot, Lon Cheney played by a cardboard cutout. I think that thing slowly raises and lowers stuff. You are getting an OSHA ticket. Fastest chase scene since the guy on crutches. <laughs> That's nice. Oh like god, that. it smells <laughs> like burnt <laughs> Lon Chaney in here. Brought the butcher back to life. Isn't that kind of like regular Lon Chaney? Six hundred thousand dollars stolen yes. in the armored truck robbery has been recovered. <laughs> no. He's closed. Well, here are the scientist comments for your records. I had to fill in a few spots with my own guesses, but I guess that's about the size. Just like of real it. detectives do. Did you get any sleep? Yes. Oh, some, not much. How's the girl today? I've told you, we never close a case on my watch. Ago, she'd gone. Louder? Gone? Where? What? She told him she was a working girl and that she'd been away from the job too long already. <laughs> Quite a girl. Yeah. Say, uh, how about that time off I've got coming? 48 hours. Want to come join right me now. for the seafood buffet down at the burlesque house? <laughs> I hear the clams are to die for. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mind anything about tonight, even the burgers. Past 72 hours seem like a bad dream. <laughs> 
that rest in the hospital today really gave me a new lease on life. Now that it's over, I... I can't believe it actually happened. The important thing is to remember, it is all over. <laughs> Ether's pretty magical, Betty. I suppose you'll be assigned to another case. <laughs> hey, Betty, does now this cloth smell like chloroform? In the front seat of the car steaks in a restaurant. <laughs> oh, I've told you, Betty, steaks in the front seat, hot dogs in the back seat. I started by talking the captain into a short holiday. And oh, Captain Louder? An hour ago, Who? I got you. Louder? Oh. Uh, <laughs> what? What did you do that for? I figured that being my wife would take up all of your time. That's forward. We've known each other for like 72 hours. No, I couldn't. You're not supposed to say no to a Just wait till the roofie takes effect. I, that too. I don't want to be a dick chaser all my life. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, man. oh man, we have got some, some things to unpack here. Wow. Oh my god. Uh, hang on. A you second. clean up you clean up well, Dick. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. You still uh, smell like you I, still smell like the sewer in shame though. I mean, look, that that was um you know, there are ways in which that, that was way less painful than the the old uh, you know, super low budget horror movies. Uh, several of our, our uh, audience commented earlier, you know, early in the movie, there was like a very Blade Runner vibe, you know, that very film noir kind of thing. Yeah. Um, like it's a, it's got a cool vibe going. But man, they ruined it by everything. You know, like, <laughs> like literally everything. And you know, I'm sure that whoever wrote the score, like masterful score, but not for a movie ever, because it was like. Sometimes you couldn't even hear the people talking because of the swells of the cellos and the timpanis. And I mean, it was the music was just bonkers the whole yeah. the whole time. The yep. somewhat difficult to destroy man. <laughs> and also that. Yeah. I mean, I think why didn't they test market that? You know, or maybe they did. And people were like, mm, no, I don't want to go see that. I'm like, how about Is this one where the directors left partway through the screening? <laughs> Could have been. Yeah, I don't think I know we've, taking... we've, we've had those. Yeah, they're, they're like, not going to be taking questions from the audience. Yeah, the director sure. just said action, and then they knocked off for a pint of old swaggity. Old swaggity. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be a little bit distracted here for a few seconds because I am pulling the list of folks who commented during tonight's stream, mm -hmm. and I am bouncing them up against the people that uh, also are followers and math, then uh, adding them into it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so yeah. – um, so it looks like uh, Deep Pulse, Elvin, Guitar Artisan, Loot Viper, uh, Sahara 90210, Trixalicious, Your Local Guru, and Wordanaz. There's yep. got to be a better way to pronounce that. Elvin um, 66, you get, uh, you get that one in there. Elvin's in there, yep. That was my second one, yep. So I got, I, 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 I'd be duped to list into Excel, guys. That's what I'm doing as we're talking. So <laughs> I just want to say. This is what professional streamers bring to the table. Yo. Yep. Yeah, you that's know. behind the scenes, man. Yeah. yeah. So I do want to say, Chad, you guys really knocked it out tonight. There was some great, great commentary mm -hmm. and some really, really good jokes in there tonight. For really, sure. Really appreciate those. Those were great. <laughs> Yeah, so I think I have eight entries from tonight. Wow, so look at this. That. Guitar Artisan saying that part of the set was really used in Blade Runner. Oh, really? Really? Oh, that's cool. So wow. it wasn't just funny. It was true. Yeah. So it, was, it was actually funny it's true. because it's true. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. This guy. Hmm. Oh, awesome. Um, so, okay. Really cool, yeah. So this movie oh, still at, has... Look at the transparency, folks. Look at this. <laughs> are you are you showing com. oh you're showing you're showing me working okay so so yeah so i'm uh once i get this to load i'm Josh, gonna put come, those additional go. perfect yeah i'm gonna put those additional nine entries in here so let's, let's see here uh, entries and so and you guys know the, we're actually using a completely unbiased system for this we actually are yeah no this is a random number generator i mean system where i'll we're be plugging honest in. i have my favorites I do have my favorites as well. So we've had know, some right. really good, good that we did this the, the, the fair way. Yeah, we seriously, we've had some really, really good ones over the entire course of last right. season and the start of season two, which, by the way, thank you for showing up for the season two premiere. Premiere. Yeah, right. Season so two premiere we, right here. we have 36 entries. Um, 
People did get in there multiple times if they attended multiple streams and commented. So this is the full list of folks uh, right, that commented that during our quick. streams. So it's not a tarp, I promise you. Um, and all right, so it's a, I'm going to go ahead and go to the... It's completely a tarp. <laughs> I'm going to go to the drawing screen here. It's a tarp. So I'm not going to do the live event drawing because that costs money. We're going to do the quick drawing with no effects. <laughs> and oh, I'm going to start the final drawing now. Here Don't it goes. Worry. Here we go. I got it. I'm ready. I'm ready. Prize is binding. Okay, it's been successfully completed. So congratulations to the people that won off screen. Um, <laughs> it's like the NES. It didn't happen. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right. Let's see here. Click here to see results. All right. Wait. So looks like Guitar Artisan gets a poster. Wonkington One gets a poster, and your local guru gets a T-shirt. The T-shirt. So congratulations, you guys. Um, if you can right, whisper buddy. to us or, yeah, whisper to us what your uh, address is so we can get that stuff sent out to you. And I will go on our store that now exists on our website at bmoviebonfire.com. And I will um, I will order them and ship them your way. So that's Fantastic. fun. Con but, congratulations, yeah. guys. Uh, yeah, congrats. For all of you. Yeah, actually, I, I can hand deliver that to Guru because he, he doesn't live far from me. <laughs> oh, okay, well, bonus. Then, then, then you can order it and, and bring it to him, and then that way he doesn't have to come from where I live. So, here, here um, you go, Guru. I'll just give you the shirt off my back, buddy. You don't want that. You don't want that shirt. You don't want it. Nope. You don't want it. No, nope. I've been down in the sewers with Dick. You don't want to be. It's, it smells like uh, Lon Chaney. It smells like Lon Chaney. Just, just like, normal Lon Chaney. Do you yeah. like gravy? <laughs> <laughs> do you like a shirt that makes you make this? <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you, Kyle. Um, and we can go. We can go back to the regular screen if you want. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go back. People want to watch watch my random picker. I can and I can put the link to that in the chat. So if you want to like check the public record on that and see that it's real and like legit, <clears throat> boom, there it is. Oh, in chat. there it is. Bam. <laughs> Look at that, guys! Radical transparency in action. That's right. That's, That's right. What we do. That's how we do things um, here because we're professional streamers. That's we're right. Hey, you know what? But compare this stream to the very first one we did, and it has come leaps and bounds. So well, it's because we, we aren't uh, watching Manos this week. Uh, God, Manos. I, and the, you know what bothers me most about Manos is that I feel like we're going to have to watch that damn thing again at some point. We are. I, I was just thinking that, that every season it has to have a Manos uh, oh, episode. God, every and that, season? But then, so think <laughs> no, about no. this, guys. Just think we, about it from a business point of view, right? Each box set for each season has a Manos episode and then you can have a box set with all of the Manos episodes. Oh, how about this? The we Manos can't make the same set. jokes each time. You have to make new jokes every time. That is the absolutely impossible. I'm going to say okay. it now. It, that is impossible. No problem. Yeah. Yeah. So I, there's no way that we can get away from making the budget ret joke. I know. Budget, mm -hmm. budget ret's a good joke. <laughs> um, but we had different jokes this last time. It wasn't, it wasn't, uh, oh. it wasn't that similar. God, that um, I, so I really want to watch. I want to watch the MST3K or Rift Tracks version of this movie and see if they made mm. a louder joke because I feel <laughs> Sorry, like what? What? Uh, <laughs> louder. The louder joke. What? Uh, the one that's louder. The louder one. Oh. Um, because I feel like it's solid and I want to know if it's in there. <laughs> um, we're probably anyway, gonna get. Yeah. That's where we're gonna get a copyright strike on. Is that joke? Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's actually, MST3K. Be... They hit us with a copyright strike for the last. Not not the instructional video one, but the last one, we got a we got a copyright strike from MST3K. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, but it's not. I mean, it, we just watch the same movie. You know, yeah. obviously the commentary is different. Right. But uh, I thought that was interesting. We're far hmm. better looking. They're scared. They're running scared, man. Yeah. <laughs> Kneel and worship, peasants. <laughs> not really. Not at all. No, um, not really at all. No. We we are we uh, are a non we are a non threat. We are we are just generally non. Man, um, if I had a nickel for every time I heard that, <laughs> that you were a non-threat, <laughs> you don't tell people like we are legion and we're and this a non-threat. This <laughs> and this is this is why I drink, folks. <laughs> I'm out of drink. I got to pour another one. I am doing crunch and ice so, at this point. I'm still doing it. Here, hang on a second. I'll just pour it. I'll pour it straight in here. From this, uh, for legal reasons, is totally not vodka. It's water. No, it's vodka. Vodka. <laughs> vodka. Vodka and Or however you can strangely pronounce, mispronounce don't worry. anything. Don't worry. I will inject this into my mouth with a syringe. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. What's the matter, boy? Didn't anyone teach you how to chug syrup? <laughs> this movie brought to you by Old Swaggity. Old Swaggity. I swear that's oh, what guys, that said, you guys. I think we have to get Old Swaggity shirts made up. I mean, <gasps> yeah. Oh, I'm so excited by that. Yes. Yep, that's going to be up yes. tomorrow. Are yes. you on it? Gonna yes, do this. Do tomorrow. this. I will. I will. Shirt. You tell me when it's up and I'll buy five. Uh, yeah, it's it's. I'm I'm making a note now. It's gonna happen. You'll see it tomorrow. It's no one tomorrow. said yeah, dad this so week. You're absolutely right. True. Nobody said they, dad this week. They did change the. They changed <laughs> the on, lingo. Dad. So this was 56. Damn it, do that. I'm out of booze. In 56, they went from dad to uh, crumbs. Right. Oh, those crumbs. Yeah, they were just those a couple of like crumbs. Couple of crumbs. Yeah, those crumbs, man. <laughs> oh. I do have one other announcement to make, which is kind of the whole point of asking for 50 followers and everything. We are, we have officially been invited to affiliate um, with uh, B Movie Bonfire. So we that's did it. Super and thank exciting. you. Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much to all of you out there for that. We could not have done this without you. It's yeah. a sincere, sincere appreciation for each and every one of you on that, for showing up, watching these videos, giving us those follows and likes, and, and just- providing 90% of the jokes. At me because we can't really. do it. Apparently. It really takes. I mean, it takes the pressure off. Honestly, it really does. <laughs> like we when we're all just sitting there going, time. and then somebody in chat has something great, and then we can just hop in with louder. Uh, we love. What? Sorry, what was that? <laughs> no, <laughs> not doing it. So uh, yeah, we. Uh, oh, he's he's doing it again. We're gonna have to take that away from him. <sighs> You can't take it away from me, baby. I'm I'm doing it before it gets to post, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but yes, for real. Thank you so much to each and every one of you out there. We really appreciate all of you guys for showing up for that. And it, though it, all the all the follows and the words that you say in our chat and everything, it really helps us grow and we appreciate that more than we could ever say so like we're not just dick you. chasers no we are more no than that. <laughs> uh we and are, congrats are again to your local guru wonkington uh or wonk for short because it's easier and guitar artisan who yes. we've been chatting with on facebook so yes um, thank you that's so awesome. much yeah congratulations you guys. guys really do yeah uh um, whatever, whatever, uh, whatever your social preference we have a channel for you come see us on do. reddit Come see us on the FaceTube. Come see us yep. on uh, the Twitcher. Uh, uh, yep. All the uh, all the places. All of we, them. In the, we, we exist yeah. in the places and uh, apparently down in the sewers too. Dick chasing. Yep. Um, all right. I think that's I think that's it. Yeah. Congrats. But don't forget if you guys won something, please uh, reach out, whisper or Facebook message, what, whichever social media channel you want and send yep. us, uh, send us your info so we can get that sent out um, yep. and get that knocked out for you. And congratulations again to all the winners out there. Actually, you're all winners in my eyes. Every single <laughs> one of you out there. True. Participation of trophy for everybody. Have. You participated. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much again. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you guys next week as uh, our actual first stream as official – Twitch affiliates, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, very exciting. Uh, we'll, let you, re- we'll let you know on the channels what we're going to do. We'll yeah, participation well, t-shirts sponsored by Old Swaggity. Old Swaggity. <laughs> I'm doing it. Should, wait, should it just say Old Swaggity? Like, should it just be a picture of the bottle or something? Like, what do yes. you want? Just make it a, okay, so we got to make sure that we don't infringe on any copyrights, which we're already going to get hit with. There's no, there's no copyrights for Old Swaggity. Come on. <laughs> So we need like to have the the B movie bonfire oh, logo, but, there, but there's on, gonna be. It's just make it just a bottle of liquor with the B movie bonfire logo somewhere visible, and just have it say Old Swaggity. Yeah. Oh, I'll just build. I'll just build in the Old Swaggity. Uh, I'll, I got it. I got it. Should it say anything? Should it say anything? Should it say Old Swaggity? Well, on the bottle, but anywhere else. Uh. You know, I've got an Old Swaggity tattoo. <laughs> Oh it's like it's like lower oh, back oh like that actually wings around it you know what uh, <laughs> uh i've seen it it's pretty Warden it's has, beautiful really Warden has had a great idea so what we do is we have it say old swaggity bottled by dick chasen <laughs> okay okay oh so it needs to say so it's a bottle of old swaggity and then underneath it just says dick chasen mm. who's gonna wear that 
Oh, <laughs> you guys gonna wear that? Put, put the drunk lady from the bar on there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the drunk lady from the bar is the logo. Make this happen. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll, put, we'll get that the design a, put together. That is a That's shut fantastic. up and take my money moment right there. Yep. Drink li- so wait, so it's got the old swaggity bottle, and then the drunk lady from the bar is like holding it? There's so many things already in this design. Oh I think we're, we're going to have to, we'll put some different options out in front of you. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not doing this more than once. <laughs> I'll make a poster swaggity. instead. Oh, there we, we lost the we lost the backdrop. We've been talking for a while. Oh, oh, we've been right. we've been talking too long. All right, okay, stop. Time to go. So we, we probably should stop. Thank, thank you, so, weekend thing. Thank you a, so much yeah. for that idea for the bottle of old swaggity. <laughs> it has to be that old woman. It has I'm, to be. I'm doing it. It's happening. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, thank all you right. again. Thanks guys. again, everybody. We'll see you guys here so next week for more B Movie Bonfire. Love you all. See you next time. Bye, everybody.